In today's video, five ways to build a coaching culture. Hello coaches, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Friday from Adoro Learning. My name is Kim and today I'm going to talk about five strategies to build a coaching culture. For most instructional coaches, we often will come to a school with maybe not so much of a coaching culture. So these are five great strategies that we talked about in our Coach Better interview series with inspiring educators, school leaders, librarians, and counselors from around the world. So I'm going to share these five in no particular order, but these are strategies that were referenced by many of our guests. So they're common amongst different schools. The first strategy to build a coaching culture is to have a coaching framework or structure that provides a common language and consistency across disciplines. It might be that you have multiple different kinds of coaches, literacy coaches, math coaches, technology coaches. So having the same language that coaches use with teachers across disciplines is really helpful for teachers to understand the purpose, value, framework, and structure for coaching. Having a clear clarity around the role is also really important because lots of us have automatic connotations about coaching. When we hear that word coach, we might think sports coach, for example. So taking time, particularly in larger group meetings, to clarify the role really helps teachers understand the purpose and process of coaching. And once they can understand the purpose and process of coaching, they're able to be vulnerable with you as a coach to help you work with them and move forward on their professional goals. That ties right into point number two, which is to ensure clarity of the role of the coach that will allow teachers to be vulnerable. They need to know that your role is non-evaluative and being able to state that and be clear about that at each meeting, particularly those larger meetings that I talked about, is really important in clarifying the role of a coach. We can also do this through our actions by choosing our words really carefully and making sure that we're not using judgmental language, which would lead teachers to perceive that we're evaluating them, even when it's in a positive framework. We also want to make sure we're focusing on teacher goals because that's the role of coaching and not coaches goals, because oftentimes we have them when we work with teachers. The third strategy to build a coaching culture is to build from a foundation of trust. Be a vault. Let what teachers tell you stay with you. No one else really needs to know unless they ask you to share with others. Show integrity in your actions so that they know they can trust you. You want to also make sure to show that you're competent and worth listening to. It's okay to say that I don't know or you don't know, but then go and find out the solution or connect that teacher to that person. You don't have to know everything, but if you act with integrity and competence, people will begin to see you as a person with integrity and competence. And then as we talk about all the time in all these videos, build rapport with teachers by building that solid foundation of trust and a relationship, listening and getting to know teachers as individuals. Our fourth strategy to build a coaching culture is to support sharing. Oftentimes in schools, teachers are isolated. They might only talk to the people in their department or their grade level. So giving them opportunities to connect with each other and share learning helps demonstrate how you're working with so many different teachers across the school. It will also help share great practice to recognize success amongst different teachers and to empower teachers to feel confident in the work that they're doing. Getting teachers to share with each other about how they're learning with you as their coach also promotes a growth mindset and can demonstrate how different teachers are working towards school goals, which is great to show momentum as an entire school or school building. The fifth strategy is to focus on the learning, not the latest tech. And this is really specific for tech coaches, but sometimes Coaches and teachers alike can get distracted by the shiny thing of the new tech, and we need to remember to focus on teacher goals first and meet teachers where they're at, not where we wish they could be. To do that, we can be visible in classrooms, in meetings, in departments, and we can ask questions of teachers with genuine inquiry. So we're really curious what they know, what they want to know, how they want to move forward next, instead of kind of coming into that meeting with our preconceived notions of what they should be doing. Those are our five strategies to build a coaching culture. Number one was to have a coaching framework. Number two is to ensure clarity of the role. Number three is to build from a foundation of trust. 
Number four is to support sharing. And number five is to focus on the learning. Hopefully that gives you five ideas to build a coaching culture in your school community today. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us know what we should focus on. If you want to see more great coaching tips and strategies in under five minutes, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notifications bell to find out every time we release a new episode. If you're looking for even more coaching resources, head over to adurolearning.com slash coach better to explore over 20 online courses designed by coaches for coaches and catch us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Aduro Learning to connect with us. See you next week for 5-Minute Friday.